Hello and welcome to episode 45 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. In this episode, I'll be going over how to add command inputs. I've made this mod that lets Wolf input side B with the quarter circle forward input, and up B with Terry's rising tackle input. I'll go over how I did it. There is a couple new things I'll be covering to get this to work, so let's talk about those first. This is a fighter in it. It's ran when a fighter is initialized. You can think of a fighter in it being to a fighter frame what a main function is to a main loop. The fighter in it is ran once when a fighter starts existing, and then fighter frame runs every frame. You don't need to like define a fighter frame inside the fighter in it or anything fancy like that. Either way, what we're doing in the fighter in it is setting this can special command flag on. It determines whether a character can use command inputs or not. By default, it's on for Ryu, Ken, Terry, and Kazuya, and off for everyone else. For Wolf to be able to use command inputs, we first need to turn this on. Doing so in the fighter init function guarantees that it only happens once. After this, we assign a function to check special command. Check special command is a function that can be accessed through the global table, and by doing this, we're overriding the vanilla function with our check special command we've defined. In that function, there's this line, let cat4 equals fighter.globaltable all that. Cat4 is a type of attack category. Category 1 is like aerials, attacks, walking, dashing, jumping, so the common stuff. Cat2 is used for shielding, taunts, rolls, throws, stuff like that, some of the slightly less common stuff. Cat3 is the really rare things like item tossing. And lastly, cat4 is a check exclusively for command inputs. We can bitmask the cat4 check with the input that we want to check if the player has done the input. We can also check for a transition term, so we know for sure that the player is allowed to transition into a move. You can see for side b, we're checking for a side b transition term, and for up b, we're doing the up b one. After that, we can transition into whatever move we want. You'll see for side B, I actually turn this flag on first. This is a flag I've actually defined up here, and all I'm using it for is checking if side B was inputted with a command input or not. In Wolf's side B status script, I have checked if the flag is on, and if so, add a multiplier of 1.5 to the damage of the attack, and then turn the flag off. And then we run the original code, so that we don't have to translate the whole status script. What this does is makes it so wolf side B, only when inputted, gets an extra damage boost. And that's actually about all you need to know about adding command inputs. Last thing I've got to show off is this list of every command input that you can use. For the most part, they all have which move they're used on, and what the numpad input for each of them is. A slash means that you can do either of the inputs on either side. An input in brackets means hold. And a pound sign means the inputs on either side of it must be inputted on the same frame. Either way, all of this code will be available in item 1 of the description. I hope this helped, and happy modding!